Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Showore calls for protest against COVID-19 lockdown. I mean, somebody has to speak up. This is becoming unbecoming. People are hungry. Things are happening because of their own selfish corruption and in, in, inappropriate management. Other countries that are putting lockdown have people still go out to do shopping in other places where there is lockdown. People still go out to, to be able to get essentials and they are, not, they, are not, they are not criticized or beaten or put in prison for six months by police. Uh -uh. The other day, a young boy of about 11 years old fainted. Guess what? Small became never eat for seven days. Is that the only one that is paining you? A woman with three children, a widow, nothing to do. I mean, she was doing a small petty business that she was able to use to feed her children before. But because of this lockdown, she cannot do it. Nothing in her hand. She cannot buy or sell. Guess what? One man asked her for, to, to, to do the other thing to get 500 naira, not 5,000 naira, to be able to feed her children. How, how do you reconcile that? How? It's, it's hard time. It's high time. Let's go to the news. Former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, and publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omoyele Showore, has again called for another protest. He said the protest is for hungry Nigerians to express their displeasure and hunger amidst the coronavirus lockdown. And it is scheduled to take place as protesters received home from Saturday, April the 25th, you know, to the other Saturday, April, May the 2nd, 2020. Continue with the news, but just to let you know, this is, this is unfair, very unfair. The protest is targeted at Port Pan protest against Buhari, making the announcement via Twitter on Thursday, he said, Revolution now, ports are empty. Plates are empty and stomach very empty. Bang your pot at home. Don't let hunger kill you at home because of their greedy corruption and incompetence. This government is the worst that has ever been since the inception of Nigeria. The worst. There is no, I mean, other government has been, has been bad, but this one, ah, ah, no Nigerians, this is not fair. It is not done. It is not, it's nothing to reckon with. I mean, people are hungry, pots are empty, plates are empty, stomach very empty. Do you know what people are going through? You know, we've been at Apple Line Media, we've been campaigning that please, if you have something, share with your neighbor. People are hungry. Even if not soup without meat. And they tell you, people are hungry, things are going on. Their corruption is at the peak. Not they're not going to take thief money for this country. They say that they do palliative. Oh my God, that woman. God will, in fact, God will answer them. God Almighty, if there is a God in heaven, he will surely defend Nigerians because these people, we don't have power against them. I'm telling you, the only power you have is your voice. So we'll continue with the news, but it's just so annoying. And that's why I concur with Showore. And I want to ask every youth, please, let's support our own. All these old leaders that keep re recycling themselves and forcing themselves on us, we are tired of you guys. We are calling on a constitutional reform. They go to the House of Senate, House of Representatives, and guess what they use our money to do? For every sitting they have, they have a commission on every sitting. They have money that is being paid to them. That's why they just go there and sit down. Guess what? They know they talk anything. No. They go just sit there. They, they look. Some go when they sleep. I mean, never see the pictures. And they talk about your senators and House of Representatives that should be speaking for the people. They are not speaking for the people. They are not. They are doing their own thing. This is so unfair. This is unreal. And this is unbelievable that people that we are elected into office are the worst of all. The worst. The worst set of people. They are not even looking out for the people that elected them in, that they said they are representing. If you ask this one, I'm a senator for the senatorial district. Which district? Who made you a senator? Who made you a senator? They just impose themselves on us. People are very hungry. That's why I'm calling on the youths. Please, let's support our own. Let's support a more show warrior. I'm telling you, that's the way we can move forward. This old set of leaders, since 1960, they keep recycling themselves on us and forcing themselves on us. 
They don't want to go away. They don't want to go away. They keep recycling themselves. They keep forcing themselves on us by fire, by force, telling themselves that we voted them in. I don't know who voted them in. Most times when we go for election, we don't vote these people, though, you know. They just come and they just do their own tricks here and there, and they just get into power, you know. Look at what Buhari is doing. Look at this woman that calls herself Minister for Humanitarian Relief, whatever. The worst of all. Apparent, I mean, thief. Big time. Say, give Nigerians 20,000 20, naira. Which 20,000 naira to who? Who you give? I beg, anybody who did this channel, anybody that's listening to this news, and you have received that palliative uh, relief from the government, please, so that I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not criticizing them unjustly. If you have received anything from your state, wherever you are, please let us know, okay? And uh, we are not afraid to apologize if we have done wrong. We are, not, we are not shy to say we are sorry we got it wrong. We are not proud people. So if you have received any palliative uh, uh, relief, let us know so that uh, we don't criticize them unjustly. Because I never hear anybody to say, I receive ammo. I never hear anybody, even on this channel, I never hear anybody come and say, ah, madam, no, I received 20,000 naira. I received a bag of rice. So I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about your state government. So I'm not talking about a business organization or a, what, what, what's it called now? I'm not talking about private sectors who have come to give some relief efforts and all that. So I'm not talking about churches or mosques which have given their people any form of relief. This woman say it they help Nigerians. Help Nigerians, guess what? The palliative started from the north. Guess what? The north was not on lockdown. It was not on lockdown. The south was basic. I'm not being, see, I'm neither for the north or for the south. I'm from the common man on the street too. Because we all are Nigerians to start with. To start with. Okay, so I'm neither for the north or for the south. This woman say they won't give a, a relief. Guess where she go start from the north. The north is not on lockdown. It's not. The people that lead, lead this need this relief, we are not given. They did not give them any form of relief. They went to give it to the north. Then okay, let's leave the north now. Which, which, which of the which, which of the southern states have they given? We would like to know because I mean the deceit is so much. Ah. It's terrible. I never see that the tea for Nigeria. If you know what it is, government that they do, eh? If you know what it is, what they do, ah, you know, go feel, you see, eh, your head go pain you. I they tell you because for the fact of the kind of job we do, we are privy to some kind of information. And when I hear it, I wonder. I say, God, now true be this. This for them, we care though. You know, the other day, the woman, for, the minister for humanitarian and disaster affairs say um, trillions of naira were lost as a result of the accountant general office when he born. How upstairs go to born? I'm talking about story building. That they on fire for there. Now, kitchen, it be having a, a restaurant. Who go on fire for there? Because they want everything that they take a tea for this country. Everything, every opportunity, the slightest of opportunity, they steal. The slightest of opportunity, they steal. <laughs> Nigerians, how we go to survive like this? With so much stealing everywhere, we need a real revolution. We need change of mind. We need young people who will come out, who are gifted in administration, who love the people, who, 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 who can manage leadership, you know, that are well-read. People don't go, 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 go school for this country, go study uh, 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 political science. They don't go give them chance. They don't go give them chance. They go there, they recycle themselves, send their children abroad to, to, to school. It's wrong. It's very wrong. See, people, they suffer. They make you share food with your neighbor. If you cook rice, not eat alone. No. I bet you five spoons, give another person. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. People are hungry. Things are going on. I'm not condoling those that are stealing in any way, form, or kind. But you need to know what they are going through. You'll be amazed. You'll be sorry for them. I'm telling you. Imagine a woman that is running a restaurant business. And that is the only business she has so how will she take care of her children in a time like this how now give me example tell me how she'll be able to survive through this phase through this time they tell you they're giving palliative is another medium for them to steal they steal like no man's business nigerians this have got to stop one of the way we can stop it is you and i joining forces and joining voices together saying you know what enough is enough let us stop this let us not allow it to continue let us not give them breath of day to allow them to continue to maltreat us and to behave to us as if they, they are held they, 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 we, 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 are, we are indebted to them it is wrong very wrong very very wrong my people now the word be this so omoyolesho worry has put a word out you've heard the date saturday 
and the, the, the uh, this Saturday and the next Saturday, I beg, we'll continue to, to say this so that we, we can be all be relieved from their corruption and my practice. I beg my people, if you never subscribe, try subscribe, I beg, you know. Thank you very much. Don't forget to thumbs up for us. Subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a wonderful day. Leave us a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are. Have a good day. Bye for now.